And although we are still talking about Hurricane Idalia, Hurricane Lee is gaining strength in the Atlantic. It's now a Category 4 storm at this hour. Walk this way. We're going to talk to our Chief Meteorologist Jeff Baradelli about it because you were saying this thing is, it's, it's always looked impressive. Yep, we knew it was going to be a monster. But it looks like it's going to be a 5. It um, is really blowing up extremely yeah. fast. In fact, over the past 24 hours, it's increased its intensity by 55 miles an hour. Uh, about really just completely smashing what should be rapid intensification, which is 35 miles an hour in 24 hours. So it is clear that by a a lot and it's going to continue to rapidly intensify overnight tonight forecast to have winds by tonight 2 a.m. of around 160 miles an hour and you will see why take a look at what's happened just over the past 12 hours or so the eye cleared out and as soon as the eye got its structure together look at all that depth in these clouds right here you can clearly see the stadium effect what we mean by that is the clouds right on the edge of the eye wall going straight up vertically right there so this is about as well formed as it could be. Uh, right now, National Hurricane Center says winds are 130, making it a Cat 4. However, I think the winds are probably even stronger than that uh, right now. This is forecast to be a 5 overnight tonight. Could be as early as 11 o'clock tonight. Forecast to be by 2 a.m. with winds of 160, eventually winds 165 miles an hour. So it's possible this could rapidly intensify about 90 miles an hour in 36 hours hours. That is really, really fast. Then it should weaken a little bit as it gets into just slightly unfavorable or less favorable conditions as we head into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And right now, the good news is it's going to clear the islands. I want to show you why we expect it to get to a five. Right now, the storm is located right on the edge of what we would call moderate uh, tropical cyclone heat potential. However, Watch the track of this storm. There's the visible satellite. As it moves towards the west, it moves over very hot uh, tropical cyclone heat potential. And that means this storm is going to Category 5 status sometime very soon. We'll talk more about the potential long-term track and our local forecast into the weekend in a few minutes.